Hi, uh, today we're reviewing Crisis Wars. It's a game that's become a favourite amongst the Green Tube team here. We've been playing it for the past uh, four weeks. It's a bit of an old game now, but it's, uh, it's been out 12 months and it's not getting the credit it deserves, I think. It is an absolutely awesome game when you actually get into it and actually get used to it all. And all the different styles and how you can actually change your speed, energy and all that kind of stuff. It's actually a lot of fun when you actually get a bit of strategy into it. Tell us about all the weapons and uh, vehicles you can find next. Oh, there's a plentiful. For every weapon that you find on the map, there's a chance that you'll have, say, a, a new scope, uh, a silencer, a, a grenade launcher even. Um, and the vehicles are just plentiful. There's even just a, a basic use you can find in one of the, in one of the levels. We can just start dragging or running into each other if they want Especially to. Especially when you get the nice into it. Yeah, that's right. Each other. that's right. That's right. Just getting back to the weapons for a second. The level of customization I found with the weapons was absolutely phenomenal. Like shotguns with sniper scopes. Anyone? Uh. <laughs> I do like the mini um, mini gun with a laser um, laser on it, and especially when you put um, um, strength on, and it just keeps the gun still as anything. You can basically gun for miles across the map and still get people. Absolutely awesome how you can that you do that. Exactly right. There's just so many things you can you can combine with the powers, the weapons, and the and the add-ons. Um, it just Makes so many particular play uh, so caters for so many uh, play different playstyles. I yeah. think we're all in agreement. So this is a game that really does need to be played in DirectX 10 mode. All two minutes until the addition of the day-night cycles and destructible world in the multiplayer maps has added so much more to the game. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, there was actually a very good part at the land or at the com um, land we were playing where a um, tank hit one of the buildings I was in. It actually collapsed on top of me and cr crushed me. It was actually pretty funny. This was something we only expected from a red faction game previously, mm -hmm. but in a game with this much detail and, in all honesty, this much more fun than red faction, it's truly phenomenal. Yeah, I mean, it's it, 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 it's just. The day-night cycles really change a lot of a lot of the gameplay. You have yourself uh, during the day you're out, you're safer to use um, uh, your cloaking system while you have a laser sight because people won't see it actually coming directly out from you. You've just got to be careful in night when you're cloaked of your greatest enemy. Like Flashlight. The turtle. Nice. <laughs> That's right. The turtle. And then on some maps, the sea. <laughs> Yeah, this that this is the level of interaction for a multiplayer game you have. You can actually go bird hunting in this game if you really wanted to. Mm. And there's no annoying dog to laugh at you when you miss. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, just to give us some scores, graphics. I've got to say, this is the prettiest looking multiplayer game that I've ever had the privilege of playing. For me, it's a 9.5 out of 10. I agree as well. It's, it looks just uh, brilliant. All the brush, all the um, like the, the level of detail you get in DirectX 10, um, it just everything. It just it, it, it adds to the, to the experience completely. It's uh, yeah, for me a nine, a nine out of ten. Yeah, I'll give it about a nine out of ten as well. Just for the destructibility and when you actually do blow something up or uh, missiles goes off and hits a actual uh, you know one of the jets or helicopters, it basically just blows the thing to pieces. Bits of reef live or bits of metal it actually shows you what a real game should look like. And the graphical with all the grass and all the trees moving in the winds and where you can actually get a sniper sitting in the grass so you can't actually see him. Rocket blasts and helicopter downforce moving the trees is just phenomenal in the multiplayer. Game. It is. Yeah, for multiplayer, the brief amount of time I played it, I'd probably give it an eight and a half out of ten. It's pretty good fun.
So as for the multiplayer gameplay and getting into games, you're going to be better off using X4. It does have a basic server browser built in, but it's not very good. Um, but it's enough to get you into, into certain games, but yes, as, as Matt did say, there is, it's better using external software. It'll suffice for LAN play. Um, as for the gameplay, it looks like your average shooter, but it is so varied. So many different maps, so many different game types, instant action, power struggle, it's so much fun. It is, it is. No arguments here. No I give the gameplay a solid 8 out of 10. I'll give it an 8.5 out of 10 because it just it, it it seems like your typical Halo slash Battlefield, but it's 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 just got so much more substance to it than the other than the other games. I'll give um probably I'll give it out of I'll give it for, um 8.5 out of 10 just for the gameplay and natural graphics the way that she plays as well I'd give it to it because um how you can destroy stuff. Buildings, I love doing. I do love destroying buildings in a tank and running over people. I do love it so much. I would. I dropped the um, so score your down. Final and, score is? My final score is eight point five. I drop it down because I um I do like it that way. And I'd just give it a solid eight out of ten for good clean fun. So on that bombshell, let's go have coffee.